Hello Spartans, it's Dr. Mitch Ball back with week two of A Bit of Budget. This week, we're pulling back the curtain on the district spending plan. Last week, we talked about the size of our production, everything from our programs to our staffing. This week, we're going to set the stage to discuss the cost of funding it all for our students and our community. Our anticipated budget for next school year is a little over $122 million. That's a lot of curtain calls. But when you break down a school budget, there are really three big acts in this performance. They are instructional expenses, administrative expenses, and capital expenses. First, let's talk instructional expenses, everything that it takes to run our instructional programs at Gates Chilai. Approximately 73% of the budget goes directly to instruction for our nearly 3,700 students. This includes paying teachers and instructional staff, providing special education services, buying supplies and materials, purchasing BOCI services and costs, transporting students to and from school, paying for athletic teams and coaches, funding arts and music programs, and servicing and managing technology infrastructure and devices. The planned budget proposal in this area amounts to a little over $89 million. A brief intermission leads us to our next act, which is capital expenses. This covers about 17% of our budget. Think about this in terms of maintaining your home. The district has bills to pay to run our household. Things like electric, gas, and water. There are other important services we pay for like staff plowing driveways and parking lots, cleaning classrooms, mechanically maintaining buildings, and keeping staff and students safe and secure. But the biggest portion of our capital expenses goes towards paying our loan principal and interest payments, also known as debt service. Think of this as our mortgage payments for construction that has occurred in the district throughout the years. These costs are critical to our Gage Chilai advantage, providing great programs and services while maintaining safe and healthy environments. The planned budget proposal in this area amounts to a little over $21 million. The final act are administrative expenses, which cover about 10% of our budget. This area covers all the costs associated with backstage, including the business office, central administration, printing and communications, BOCES administrative costs, curriculum development and supervision, and research planning and development. The planned budget proposal in this area amounts to a little over $12 million. When voters head to the polls this May, they are voting to approve the expenditure budget, or how the district spends money. Next week, we'll talk about where the money comes from. We'll break down the district's major sources of revenue and how those sources can affect our overall spending plan. It turns out I'm not that good at running the mics. But together we can pump up the volume to make next school year a box office hit.